Hello and welcome. This is Dwarf Fortress and I am Twisted Logic. In this video I'm going to be continuing the fortress tutorial. And I think we're going to start off with some farm plots, maybe a hall for the um, dwarves to eat in. And um, we're going to get right into it. So as I create these videos my skill is going to improve. It's a little difficult to like play the game and talk at the same time and I'm just kind of starting out here on YouTube and and that's something that you can, I'm gonna develop over time I think all youtubers develop that over time I'm gonna go to designations and dig so mine <clears throat> alt M box selects on um, just gonna start off a little bit this way. So one thing is um, the Z menu is status, not stocks. Um, stocks is the sub menu. And I'm just gonna go to the kitchen tab here, press enter. And the plump helmets here, I'm gonna disable cooking with them. So I'm gonna press C. Now cooking's red, so they're only gonna brew with the plump helmets. And we're gonna use those to make alcohol. I think earlier, the last video, I was pretty tired as well. Still pretty tired, but, um, you know, I watched that video and hopefully I'm learning from my mistakes. So dig. And I want to make some kind of dining hall here. So press X and then I'll make it up to the side. Here. Seven by fourteen right there. This dining hall fifteen by ten. And we'll make a so I'll build the dining hall here and just in case we get some migrants. Uh, it'll be big enough for everybody and I'm actually going to go to designations H for a channel Right about there Just kind of eyeballing it Those four corners and then dig down one level Five by five So it's also going to be this corner. We might have to move it up one. Yeah, okay. So dig X. Get that. Designate dig there. Right there. Right there. Dig H for channel. Right there. Right there. I'm going to end another row right there. Okay. And you'll see the reason why if you don't know already shortly so I'm also gonna do I'm also gonna dig a um, J J is a uh, downstairs be like two right there Dig J. You're in here. Dig upstairs for you. You go on the bottom of these. Click one there. One here. Here. size in these and 
this is going to be the this is going to be the stockpile room that I'm going to make for the trading items. And these are going to be farms. But I don't want to connect them yet. Right here, I'm going to put a craft dwarf. So build W for workshop. Was it R for craft? Yeah. Enter. start doing that and then also at the mechanic shop here I'm gonna add new task T rock mechanisms repeat hold down alt press W shift a enter shift R take that down two to four so they're gonna make four of them and then stop when the stocks get low maybe two or less they're gonna start making them again and they're going to stop at 4. Enter. And if I go into, if I go back into that Alt W and press Shift S, then you can see the doors here and the mechanisms. Any material of rock and those little limits. And this list is going to grow as we add things. So this is going to be the dining hall. So I also want food storage nearby. So dig. The farms are going to be right underneath it. And then I will make a kitchen here. Or maybe a still there. Which I can connect now. So these are going to be the workshops. Take upstairs. J for downstairs, and then this will be food storage. So maybe I'll make, yeah, my kitchen and yeah, that looks good. I need to go to my carpentry shop here and add a task for a bucket. that in the list. Right here. E for bucket. And let's make a couple of them. Yeah, I feel like now that we got past the basics in this tutorial, I can go a little faster and slowing down like that just kind of jams me up sometimes. I'm going to press N right here to do the test now, so it's going to increase the priority level. Build V. I'm going to put that right there. Enter. Enter. So the um, when they're animal hauling, they don't actually use the ropes. The, the other two dwarves were bringing the ropes into the stockpile. And um, I'm gonna make this, uh, no, we're gonna assign an animal. Put the one of the dogs on there. Craft, or, craft workshop is done, so I'm gonna add a task here. Rock, and I'm gonna make I'm going to make mugs, but I want to make the nest box first. A, enter, A, enter. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's one, one too many, so C. Cancel it. Cancel task. going to dig upstairs. I 
Yeah, right here. That looks good. Right, you know what? I'll just add to this one dig upstairs. Three. Three more. Dig X. I have one too many. Designation X. And then designation X to remove those downstairs. And we're going to change them to up downstairs with I. Right there. And then move over. So I have a 3x3 three three in the bottom left down here. And then come up. Downstairs here. J. So if I wanted to do something like um, dig a room here, for instance, this is a 6x6. Six six. And if I scroll up in the Z levels, if I scroll up in the Z levels and then click, now it's on all those Z levels. And you can kind of match the fortress like that. If you wanted to match all the layers. Designation X to remove. And then all the way up. Click. Okay. Okay, this dog is chained. Making mechanisms now. We got two mechanisms at least, so I'm gonna build well. Yeah, right in this, it's going to be a community bedroom, but we're going to actually change that into something else a little bit later. I'm going to connect this room here. So the reason I'm not connecting these ones yet, I'm only going to do if he, yeah, he got stuck, so I'm going to have to. Okay. So usually when they channel down, they leave a ramp there and they can get back up. But I'm going to be pouring water down that hole to create uh, mud in this space, and then we're going to be turning it into farm. At first, we're really only going to need one. designations and then Z for remove up the stairs and ramp take that out shall take um, take that out all those ramps that's why I couldn't build the bridge earlier because of the ramp something still over here some barrels and stuff. Now this is full, so I'm going to need a larger stockpile, but I'm digging out the food stockpile here. Um, I guess P and then U for furniture stockpile. I just put another one here for now. I'm going to open this up eventually into another, maybe I will, to another exit. So this is this right here, we're going to build the door. And planning mode, shift P. That right there. And that door is going to stop the water from leaving. And on the above level, I'm going to press I. Up there. Um, enter. And then hover over it. P for pit and pond. Shift P. And then F right here, lowercase. 
It's a pit, it's not full, but if I press F, it's a pond, it's not full. And so now this is going to trigger the water hauling. They're going to grab a bucket. They're, they should go to the water zone right here to get water and bring it there and pour it in. But first I'm going to go to orders here, so O. Shift W for workshop orders. Auto 10. I just want to turn off um, L. I'm going to change this to auto loom dyed thread only. I usually forget about that later, but I'll double check it again. But there was another one here I wanted to look at. Gather wood. All harvest. Z for activity zone orders. Preferred drinking zone. I'm going to change that to zone only drinking and zone only fishing. And the reason for that is later on I'm going to be digging a well somewhere underneath the fortress and deleting this, um, I'll delete the get water, okay, so he's getting water right now, he's filling the pond, we're going to just follow this guy, this is Dayton, I'm going to have some water too, yeah, so when everybody starts out on YouTube, they kind of need to gain that skill, for me, it's kind of talking as I'm playing the game here. Because, um, like I can do, I can do all the, do everything in my head, but then once I start actually thinking about what I'm doing, and speaking as I do it, then sometimes I get jammed up. And, and that's something I'm going to learn over time. So I'm just going to stop following him and take a look here. So the one here is the depth of the water. Um, now it's muddy granite cavern floor and we got dusting of mud on it. And he's going to just keep on pouring buckets of water right here. So you're going to see it become a two. That's the depth of it. But then it's going to, then the water's going to move off the tile. Is that Dorian? Yep, it is. Okay. And the, I think the nest box are completed, so build, shift, N. No, no, they're not finished yet. And I didn't, uh... Automatically hide the test bar there. So that's fine. You can see my bar for a minute there. I don't care. I'm not trying to make perfect videos here. If I um, stopped and re-recorded the video just because you saw my windows bar there at the bottom, I'm going to drive myself crazy doing stuff like that. And this is, um, that's not my intention. Now these two are stuck because they didn't leave ramps. So I'm just going to have to dig them out. Designations D. Oops, designations X. door so I need maybe a few more water haul I think I got three guys right now water hauling oh no you know what the miners are still moving furniture there task C for chair 
repeat, Alt W, Shift A, Enter, Shift R, check that down, 2 to 6, Enter, Escape, Add a task, T for table, repeat, Shift W, Shift A, Enter, Shift R, take that down, 2 to 6. Now I'm gonna need a bigger furniture stockpile as well, so I really need to um, go to Dwarf Therapist. There. So it auto reads, but I take that out. So now you can see that the miners have already skilled up. And if if you have no skills, if you had no skill in the task, but you start doing this task, then you're gonna gain skill over time. So really, you could take any dwarf and train them to be anything. I can have these miners learning weaponsmithing and arming, armoring later on and I can get them up to max level, no problem. So you don't even have to worry about what skills they already have. Just as they do it, they gain skill. So, and also that's true in real life. So as I record these videos and make YouTube content about Dwarf Fortress, my skill will increase as well, and my videos will get better with time. This is the first week of, for myself, of making a video, recording it, and speaking all at once. So maybe I won't, I was originally gonna, I was originally gonna cut a tunnel through this whole mountain here. So you have an entrance here and an entrance here. Abandon this whole section and then either wall it off or make traps in the rooms. And then you are gonna come, and then the army or whoever, maybe the trade caravan is gonna come in through this way and the fortress will be maybe somewhere down here. And then I'll start building the real fortress maybe somewhere down here, but we'll see where we get. Oh, so F1 is taking me to the wagon still, and I want F1 to take me here. So I'm going to press, uh, was it H? No, Shift H. And then I can rename this if I wanted to, and so I'll name this Temp Fort. And then Z to zoom here, F1, Z to zoom here, F2. I'll just have it zoom here then. Let's see, so F1, F2. So he's building the tables and chairs in here. Build table and planning mode. So we're gonna cover that. So that's five by nine in the center. Maybe I'll stretch the tables across this way. And then Chairs. Shift P. So they can eat without chairs and be fine. But if they eat without a table, that's negative thoughts. Maybe I'll put a statue or something in the center there. 
later on. How's this farm coming? It's getting there. And this is uh, starting to clear out as well. So that's, we got some, not as bad as I thought with the uh, stockpile there once I made this furniture stockpile. Um, but I do want to build the lever. Build, shift T, L for lever. So, back out. B, for the build menu. Shift T is the traps and levers right here. And then I'm going to go down to lever, which is L. Enter. Yeah, I'll build the lever right here. Instead of the statue, I'll build a statue somewhere else. Maybe around the walls of this place. Enter. And I'm going to dig, uh, I'm just going to make another entryway right there. That's the wall. It should actually be there. And then stretch that. X. Okay. So P. Goods. So the goods. Good stockpile. Do a small one right here. I'm going to go into the settings of this. So when you do a um, standard stockpile, the bins and barrels are going to fill. Do a custom stockpile, you have to set your pins and barrels with the ENR or CNV buttons. So I'm going to go to the settings of this, go down to finished goods. The core quality here, I'm going to disable artifact. The type, disable goblet. Actually, I'm going to hit B for block all, A for allow all. Um, it's F. Yeah, so F for forbidden type, and then core quality, I'm going to turn off artifact. The core quality is the baseline, and then the total quality is if it's improved with something. So anything that's baseline artifact, I don't want in this. And this is only going to be stuff from trading, so figurines, amulets, scepters, crowns, rings, earrings, bracelets. I'll keep large gems, I don't make totems, and that's fine. Now I just gotta go to the other stockpile, right here, settings, finished goods, and go down this list, figurines, amulets, I'm just going down the list with up and down on the arrow, and then pressing enter. Okay, so I disabled all the stuff in this stockpile that the other stockpile accepts. Now, let me just shift D. Okay, so it looks like the Trade Depot can drive over the, tra the um, chain here with the dog. Just wanted to check that right here. Press in for now. Nobody's stone crafting, so I'm gonna. These three can stone craft. You know what? I'll just mirror. I'll mirror these three. Like that. If for some reason you're not building a bridge, architecture is the. Um, job that needs to be on. If you built a mechanics workshop and none of your dwarves are designated as mechanics, they're not going to build the workshop. So you got to build. You got to turn that on. That's those are two things I should have said in the last video. So 
So we're starting to build our hall here. I'm just going to press B, D for doors, and I'm going to add some doors in here. Enter there. 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 Now that the doors are planned, I click R to make the select the table, R to make a dining room. This plus and minus, like all the rooms. Maximum size, enter. H for hall. And so the meeting halls are great. They can hang out there. See, he's taking a break, he's eating. Also, gonna build a door here. And here. So once the miners finish, they're going to help out with this water hauling. The lever is complete, so I'm going to click on that. A to add new task, and I'm going to hit B to link a bridge, and rough granite bridge, the only one, it's flashing, if there's more than one I can go up and down the list with the plus and minus, enter, I'm going to pick the mechanisms that we made, two of those, somebody with the mechanic task is going to link that bridge to that lever, This room is complete, so I'm going to press um, P for a stockpile of food. Right there. Another one. No. X to delete it. And I'll just make a large one. All, I'll just put all the food in there. That's fine. And then later, off, later on, if... Um, we're making soap or something, I can split off lye, I can split off beer and certain plants and stuff. So then I'm gonna go to this stockpile, go to settings, and disable food D. Now they should move all the food from there to there. And are we making crafts yet? No, but we have some nest box done, so I'm going to add a new task. Rock, crafts. I'll repeat that. Alt W, Shift A. Crafts of any rock. Shift R. And I want uh, a minimum of, let's say, 50. And a max of 200. This for right now. That's I'm not sure if I'm even gonna hit that before the caravan comes, but we'll see. So I need a better furniture stockpile. Dig right here. X. I should have moved that over a little bit, but it's fine. I'm trying to make the most efficient fortress. Just one that, um, See what do we got out here now? Yeah, we got all this beer and rum outside, and I don't want it to get stolen. 110 barrels. Units. Okay. I don't want 
for the miners on. I thought it was on earlier. There it is. I have a wireless headset and um, battery. Battery just died, so I had to plug it in. So units, you. Okay, everybody's storing items, which is great. Get this place all sorted. I'm gonna build. Great, we got migrants now, which is awesome because we got a lot of work to do. So I'm just gonna see what we got here. I'm gonna turn off. So what I'm looking at is the general here. General skills. I'm gonna turn off mystic. And I'm gonna turn off combat. So this guy is gonna be a great hauler. We got a steward here, grower. He's got no skills. Maybe he's royalty, who knows? I didn't look at the um, legends or anything with this. Okay, he's a brewer, mason, potash maker. Decent amount coming in now. So back down to the fortress here. I'll let them all get settled for a minute or two. They should already have hauling on. If I go to. Yeah, so they're all gonna make sure hunting is off. Fishing is actually fine for a couple of them to do, but uh, not yet. Oh, we got a pretty good leather worker here. Unless I care about showing the uh, taskbar there, the um, less editing I have to do, so. That's great for me. Pulling all that stuff in. Let's see if they brought some weapons and stuff too. We got a steel crossbow. I'm gonna dig a um, larger room here. Downstairs. There and there. Take upstairs. X. So I'm going to build L, build W, L, or case B, W for workshop, and then L for still, in there, another one here, Z for kitchen, Z again.
And then somewhere in this area, I want the um, animals and the butcher shop. And the refuse stockpile. What's that? A lizard or something he's got? Inventory. He's got a cave lobster. So this right here, dig. And also remove Z. Remove um, stairs and ramps. Let's see. finish. Put some 5 by 5s over here. There's two of them. Two more here. for a downstair. I'll set it back one. So I'll move the animals here, and then I'll have a butcher shop. Second butcher shop, two tanning shops. We'll dig that for now. I think I, what I want to do is maybe test the cavern outside of the fortress. I'll dig down to test the cavern, but we're not even ready. We don't even have all the stuff inside, so... I'm gonna get the basic stuff set up first, and then we'll start doing caverns and things like that. So build, shift N, S box, right there, shift N. You can't do planning mode with the nest box. start with because I'm going to probably deconstruct them and move them over here. Clear labor. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have them haul, haul and do water until everything in the fortress is ready. In the next episode, I'll show you how to do the custom jobs that I like to do. I'm having second thoughts about this um, tunnel right here for the, um, so dig X. Second thoughts about the refuse in that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I like to have the refuse a little away from me. Maybe I'll actually maybe put it down here. So they have to go through a couple double doors. But once I get the basic stuff up here, once I get the basic stuff set up, I'm gonna start building some stone blocks and uh, maybe we'll do some construction outside as well. Coming up with a pretty cool idea for some kind of outside construction maybe. So we got the migrant waves, we got the hull, we got the lever linked to the bridge. We're going to test that right now, so we're going to click on that lever, press A. Shift 
shift pull the lever. Even if somebody dies, we're pulling that lever. No, 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 no. We're gonna hit N. We're gonna set up the um, burrows before we pull that lever. I got the bucket guy, the um, water brigade here coming to uh, fill that up. So we're starting to fill the stockpile as well. So if you enjoyed that video, thumbs up, let me know in the comments, and subscribe for more. Uh, quality is only going to get better, only going to get better from here. Thank you very much for watching.